In this example, we want to determine the prime factorization of 168, which means we want to determine the prime numbers that have a product of 168. And a prime number is a natural number greater than one that has only two factors, one in itself. So to do this, we'll make a prime factorization tree for 168. To start this, we need two factors of 168, or two numbers that have a product of 168. And since this number ends in an eight, we know it's even, so two factors of 168 would be two times 84. And two is prime, since it only has two factors, one in itself. So let's go ahead and circle this, because this is one of the prime factors of 168. Now, 84 is not prime, and since 84 is still even, we can write 84 as two times 42. And we'll go ahead and circle two, because we know that's prime. Now we need two factors of 42. We could write it as two times 21, or six times seven. Let's go ahead and use six times seven. The good news is it doesn't matter which two factors we use for 42, the end result will be the same. Now six is not prime, but seven is. Let's go ahead and circle seven. The only factors of seven are one in itself. But we can write six as two times three, and both two and three are prime. So now we have the prime factorization at 168. We'll have three factors of two, a factor of three, and a factor of seven. And we can express this two different ways, in expanded form or using exponents. So be sure to read the directions to make sure you express your prime factorization in the correct form. So 168 is equal to three factors of two, one factor of three, and one factor of seven. And it's always a good idea to check this to make sure this product is 168. And that's why I prefer to circle the prime factors, because otherwise it might be easy to forget one of these prime factors. And using exponents, we could write two times two times two as two to the third, or two cubed. So using exponents, we could write this as two to the third times three times seven. So again, be sure you read the directions to make sure you express the prime factorization in the desired form. Okay, we'll take a look at one more example in the next video.